Hello guys, it's Delta249er here with a review of my CyberPower PC. And uh, it is off right now, but I will show you it on in um, later in the video. So, it is a Fang 3 Rattler. That was the base configuration. And then I changed things on it. Uh, but on the front here, Actually, on the top, uh, you have a USB 2.0 and you have your indicator lights. Um, this is just the uh, power, power, and this is the hard drive that um, tells you if the hard drive is working. There's two USB 3, the um, power button, the reset button, then there's a microphone and headphone. It's a little dusty. Hold on. Alright, <clears throat> and there's another um, space for something else. Uh, usually, like I've seen pictures, they have another set of these and stuff. But uh, you can put many things in there. And here you just have like a little vent system. And if you pull it down, you can adjust how far up it goes. And I usually keep it closed when it's off because just that less dust gets in it. And then open when it is on. <clears throat> Alright, and you have the ASA logo there. Uh, DVD, rewritable, drive, CD-ROM, <clears throat> drive, regular one. Um, I have my 12-in-1 media card reader. Uh, works pretty well. Uh, there's some more slots for things. There's two more slots. Uh, Cyber Power logo. And there's two fans. You'll be able to see that when it's on. Um, there's two fans there, and then there's a Windows little sticker there, and this, um, on the side here, it's like a magnetic, uh, door here. <coughs> this, there's the fans in there, you know, you can put better fans or bigger, I don't know, just different fans in there, <coughs> and if it will focus, because it's a little dark, um, you have your easy swap base all down there, and then just some ventilation right there and then there's hold on I'm getting a better position there's um just some more bays easy swap bays but they're different Okay, on um, on the side, uh, there's like a little bit of a window here. Um, it's I know there's there's not like a big window, but I'm not looking at the side anyway when I'm at my chair, so it doesn't really matter. Um, you can there's room for a bunch more fan. Well, it depends. I think there's um. Two 120 millimeter fan slots here. Um, I don't. There's none on mine because I just got the default fans. But you can put fans there, and there's a little dust filter here. that just goes in there. And on the back here, there's thumb screws. There's just two of them. You just unscrew it, slide it out. And then pull it out completely. And as you can see, there, there's room for more fans, and there's all the different holes for it. All right, in here, um, we'll start. I guess we'll start with the fan. Um, I believe what is that? A 350? Maybe not. Maybe I'm lying. Maybe it's bigger than that. A 350 millimeter fan? Maybe not. I don't know. But there's just standard fan there. Um, there's well, um, there's two fans there, like the radiators up. Oh, it's just the radiator fans and everything. As you can see, the water cooling is going into there. Um, and there up there, you can add more, like up there, but up on the other two. All right, and then um, I have my water cooling system on top of my. 
processor. Uh, it's a cool it something. I'm not exactly sure on that. Probably should have looked this up before I started. But uh, it's a cool it more um, liquid cooling, <coughs> not water cooling. Shouldn't say that. Uh, then there's the motherboard. You can see all the logos and everything, and it's socket 1155. And um, then I have my RAM there, and everything is nicely tied and at all nice. Let's see, it's all I don't know, but everything's nice and tied together, and the wiring is really clean. <clears throat> and uh, under that, or not under it, but like on the side of it here, you've got the uh, graphics card, which is a NVIDIA GTX 560 2 gigabyte and it takes up two slots oh and I forgot to mention that there's uh... three there's nine slots yeah there's like nine slots in the thing I'm only using three yeah I'm only using three um... two for the video card and one for that um... wireless card right there which is really small <laughs> um... and yeah, that's there, and there's a sticker on it, that's okay, um, and over here, you know, you've got your, all your wiring goes back through these little holes here, um, <clears throat> they've got them in the back, I, know, I guess I can show you from here too, because you can see them, um, those are for the liquid cooling reservoir, you know, if you want to have a reservoir out in the back, you can put the tubes through there. And over here, you have all the hard drive bays, and that, if you can see there, um, I've got my, on here, jeez, oh up here is my SSD, and my hard drive is right there, you can kind of see it, um, not really, <laughs> but anyway, um, then you've got your, hold on, okay, so, You've got your RO, and up here, you've I have uh, my 12 and one media card reader. If you can see that right there, and then I've got my CD ROM drive, <clears throat> and that is about it for this. The inside, I'll show you the back. Oh, and I have my power supply. It's a a Reed Max RX 850AE. Um, hope I don't regret this. I haven't had any problems yet. Um, but you know, it can like wear it out. But um, hope I don't regret that. But yeah, it seems to be working fine right now. So maybe I'll upgrade that. Um, it's 850 watts, if you can tell by the name. Um, and that's it for inside the case. Uh, as you can see, again, everything is really nicely wired. Um, I didn't get any pro wiring or anything. It was just like this. Um, <clears throat> yeah. So, up to the back. We have uh, just your <clears throat> ventilation for the power supply. And under here, there's like this little tab here, there's another dust filter. See, and then you've got the... There. Then you've got the <clears throat> power supply switch, which um, you're supposed to keep it off and turn your power on first, and then turn this on. I don't know. That's just what I was told. Um, <clears throat> but I don't know if it matters too much. Uh, there's my wireless card. It has like a little um, antenna thing that just goes and stay on top of my speaker. <clears throat> and it's got a little reset switch. Oops, wow. Really bad one. When I'm uh, looking, okay. Got a little reset switch, and here I have my video card. Um, there's DVI. There's the vent there. Um, I don't know if you can see that, but there's HDMI there, and then there's VJ. I mean, DVI there. So there's two DVI and an HDMI. And right there, I have my audio. It's just the built-in audio. It sounds really nice, actually. Um, and, you know, it has the 
microphone, speakers, and then, hold on, I need to readjust, and then, there you go, you got all that, um, then you got Ethernet, sorry, I can't really point, but, you got Ethernet right there, you got two USB 3s, I think, yeah, USB 3s, <coughs> you've got two USB 2s, I've got my keyboard plugged into one of them, you got your SPD, um, IF, out there, I don't know what that is. Still don't know what it is. Uh, I've got your HDMI for the motherboard, which still has a cap on it. I haven't taken that off because I'm not using it, so might as well just keep that on there. Um, got VGA, DVI, two USB 3s, and a PS2, which I have my mouse plugged into. And you know, you've got the fan there. And that is about it. Um, I'll show you the other side. Give me a second. Alright, yeah, well, on the other side, you just have uh, the panel comes out a little bit so that um, to support bigger CPU fans. And, uh, yeah. And if you are wondering where your uh, window sticker is when you get one of these, it's right up there. I'm not going to show you too much, but it's mine was on the side of the case. Um, I watched another video and there was one on the side of the case, and that's how I knew just to go right to the side there. <clears throat> but yeah, um, that's about it, and I'm gonna do a little bit of a review of the company um, in another video.